So we're going to start off with 500 grams, oh dear, 500 grams, or just under now, of plain flour. Not double O flour today, just plain flour. 250 mils of water. Room temperature, room temperature, but it's a little bit cold here, so I warmed it up a little bit. Just going to combine those ingredients. Grab our mixer, lock it in. We're just going to mix that now until the water absorbs. Two or three minutes. Now that's been mixing for around three minutes now. We're just going to leave that sit for 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll come back and do the next stage. And while we're waiting, we're just going to activate one teaspoon of dried yeast in around 15 to 20 mils of warm water. Well, it's been around 15 minutes and that yeast has activated nicely. You can see how foamy that is on top. So now we're ready for the next step. So this next process is a little bit messy and you will think to yourself, why am I doing this? It looks like shit, but it comes together really well at the end. So let's start. Going to mix this on medium low for two minutes. Alrighty, take that out. One teaspoon of salt. This is what I mean by it makes no sense. Looks stupid, but it works. Now, two minutes later, we add our olive oil. Yes, everything's backwards in this recipe. And this is gonna be messy. Now after a couple of minutes, it's starting to look very silky in there. So now we're gonna speed it up and mix for another seven to eight minutes. Now sometimes it might need a bit of an attitude adjustment because it doesn't want to play the game. Because once again, I'm doing a half mix. Now, I've spoken about bubblegum consistency before in the dough. Now this dough is more like bubblegum that you've chewed, put under a desk when you were a kid and went back two hours later to eat. So sort of like that. It's not quite as sticky. It's not quite the same as chewed bubblegum, but it's very close. You can see you can stretch that there and it's not tearing. So at this point, I'm gonna take it off the dough hook, just mold it up a little bit. So now I've formed a big dough ball, and I put this back into the mixing bowl, cover it with glad wrap, and leave it sit for around 45 minutes. Now our dough's been resting for around 45 minutes. Now it's time to cut it up. So at this stage, I've cut it in half, and I'm basically just going to fold under the edges like so, and keep going around. And as I do that, it's gonna stretch the top of the dough ball around. I'm just folding it underneath. I'm basically pinching it, see that? I'm making a, like a big dim sim. And that's that. Pinch it underneath. See how it goes like that? It looks disgusting, doesn't it? That's all we're doing. Pinch it underneath. Keep pinching. And that's that. One dough ball set aside, repeat the process. Now we have a big Tupperware container, baking paper in the bottom. Just gonna pop those inside. Light spray of water. And now we're just gonna cover those up now we want these in the fridge for at least 12 hours and up to 18 hours, but they can stay in the fridge for up to three days. So, in the fridge they go. So while we're waiting for our dough, we're gonna set up our big joe. Got a bunch of charcoal in there, fire lighter buried in the middle. Just lit that up. Gonna let that burn for quite a while now. Bottom slider is fully open. I'll come back in around 20 minutes and I'll set up the divide and conquer.
It's been around 20 minutes, so I'm going to drop in my Divide and Conquer rack with the X rack in the very top position. I'm using my classic deflector plate today because my big Joe ones are broken. A couple of bits of steel to act as spacers, and my pizza stone. So I'm going to close the dome, leave the top vent and bottom slider fully open, and we'll come back and set the top vent at a later stage of the day. Now this has been in the fridge for 22 hours. I took it out of the fridge and let it rest for another four and a half hours. So let's have a look inside. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Time to start making some pizzas. Just going to lightly flour the top of the dough I want. Start making our edge. Start patting down the middle, forcing the pizza out after we formed our edge. Now at this stage, we do the stretching part that I did in my last video. Slowly stretch it through. I ruined that edge. Now we're not making this as thin as we did last time. It's going to be more of a thicker base. So tonight we're making a cherry tomato and rocket pizza. Using pesto for the sauce. Parmesan cheese, mozzarella, and cherry tomatoes. Now we're just going to slide on our pizza peel and go to the tomato. Now our tomato is rolling along just on the 300 Celsius mark. Just put some flour on the pizza stone. Pop our Pizza on there. I'm gonna come back in around six minutes and I'm gonna spin that bad boy and then we'll see how long we've got to go. This is gonna be fucking good. Just check this pizza, it's been around five minutes. Now I do wanna say that I should have actually floured that pizza peel when I did the scooperoo and switcheridi. I didn't. Uh, normally I use baking paper, but I thought tonight I'd do something different. Just use a pizza peel. This is a much drier base that I'd normally use. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's not as sticky, but oh, look at that. that looks good. That's why I use a pizza peel. Last minute decision. We'll come back in another five or six minutes. So it's been around 12 minutes and we are looking good. This is looking really good. Nice, nice edges. Oh, unbelievable. Look at the base. Oh, oh. All right, I'm going to take that off now and let that cool because we used pesto sauce. Pesto is quite oily, so we want to let that cool down a little bit before we slice and do it. But man, oh man, that's the stuff right there. That's what dreams are made of. Cheesy dreams. Hang on a minute. You can't just have one pizza. Mushroom and camembert. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Never tried that before. By golly, I think we're done. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. And that is it, we are done. Chuck some rocket on those pizzas, slice them up, hook in. Thanks for watching guys, this is a great base. Give it a try, hit like and subscribe. Another pizza video coming soon. See you next time.
So all we did today, the, so all we did to get our fire bulb, what did we do to get our Kamado up the tent? So what did we do to get our Kamado up the tent? Fuck me dead. And you can see here that the yeast is, it. and you can see here that now the yeast, you can see now that the, and it's been around 15 minutes and you can see on the top there, it's nice and foamy. So our yeast has activated. So our yeast has active. So you can, so it's been around 15 minutes and you can see now that there's a very nice foamy. Gotta make sure that record this time. It's recording, check. And during this process, you'll be thinking to yourself, fuck me. And now this is what I'm gonna play the game. I know it takes a while, this fucking recipe. Pain in the ass. By golly. I don't think we're done. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. I'm going to go have a heart attack. Look at the base. You see the base? You can't see Jack's shit. <laughs>